I wish to add some personal comments to the tributes to my friend and former colleague, the late Vaughan Johnson. He used to call me his little sister. And in many ways in this parliamentary world, he was like a big brother to me when I was, when I was elected as the National Party member in 1992 for Maroochydore. And he was the National Party member for Gregory, only elected three years earlier at the election that saw the change of government from Conservative to, to Labor. There's a lot of sacrifice in public life, but in caring for the people of the West, in an electorate the size and scope of Gregory, like many of our larger seats, few of us really know just what that kind of sacrifice means when you can't go home at night after a function in the electorate, his home is hours away by road or a flight away. Vaughan's electorate, the size 400,000 square kilometres, give or take 20 to 40,000 kilometres, was absolutely huge. And every community expects to see you and to be represented by you. And technology can only help so much. Technology is not personal and it's not the member. And Vaughan was one of those members who was always on the road or always flying to do the job, to stay connected, to care and to help for people. When there were floods, fl fires, droughts, and when there were government decisions many made many thousands of miles away that smashed people's lives and livelihoods and left them feeling disempowered and forgotten, the one who took up the mantle to speak, to advocate, to fight on their behalf, who carried the bigger challenge and burden was Vaughan Johnson. It wasn't a job, it was about a call to care. Vaughan was that person. He was always out there caring for people, regardless of their status in life. He cared deeply about his electorate, the people of Queensland, and deeply about his family. He was, as we have heard, straight talking, colourful, passionate and kind when he saw people in trouble. As the main roads and transport minister in the Borbidge Sheldon government, he was outstanding. He understood the size of the state, the need to keep people connected with good roads and good rail. He understood as someone who had run a trucking company, owned and run and built a trucking company, better understood than many what it meant about the economic life, lifebloods, uh, lifelines of the state. My colleagues have already outlined some of the key milestones in Vaughan's life. I thought I'd add another anecdote. And I recall he was speaking in the parliament in full and passionate flight. And in the midst of his speech, he recounted that his mother would have washed his mouth out with soap if he ever swore. And then he dropped his speaking notes and he swore as he leant down to pick them up. <laughs> it would have been a very game speaker who actually pulled them up because it was quite funny. But that was born. No one could take offence to that. So Vaughan, you've served your electorate well. A big personality, a big man with a big heart. He was also a man of faith, a bushy's faith. And now he's in God's arms of love and care. Till we see you again, Vaughan. And to your family, our love, our respect, because you also walked alongside and paid much of that price of sacrifice for Vaughan's life of service. And I do acknowledge Robin, Monique, Tanya, Michael, the grandchildren, the extended family. Vaughan will miss you, but till we meet again.